Hello, and welcome to McKinley's Nail Nook. So today I am going to be um, filming all of the necessities that you need as a beginner nail tech, which I currently am. So um, I definitely know what is helping me out right now. So we're just gonna get into it. So I have this cart right here, as you can see, it's a three tier cart. I got it from Michaels, it was on sale for $30. Um, so I picked up one of these. I've been wanting one of these, but seeing the sale and I was like, gotta get it. I've been wanting to do nails for a long time now, um, but I never had money to do it. I never wanted to spend the money to start the business. I was like, you know, it's just kind of a lot. One night I was just laying in my bed. It was like two, three o'clock in the morning. And yes, I did it. I made an impulse purchase and here we are learning to do nails. So I'm super excited to take you guys on this journey with me. I hope you guys are excited to come along and let's get into the video. Disclaimer, if it's something in my teeth, I'm eating a pretzel, so I apologize. I'm gonna start off with everything that I got in the kit that I bought. Um, it's a Young Nails kit. Love that brand so far. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you everything that came in that kit. So I got the core um, kit from Young Nails, the beginner kit. Um, it came with this core natural color sorry you can't even really see it because of the light um it's just i really love the packaging it's white it's simplistic got pink on it really pretty this is kind of what the powders look like if you've never seen them before I, i'm sure you can't really see them let me try to turn down the light in there we go yeah so um that's what the powders look like for acrylic just uh kind of the basic color so this is core natural core clear core xxx white core white and core pink now i'm going to tell you right now the only two colors that look different from each other are core xxx white and core white these two are the only ones that look different than the other ones and these two are also the only two that look different from each other um i've noticed that core natural and core pink look very very similar i don't even think i could tell the difference and i'm not sure if i've used their clear yet um which brings me to this one really quickly. I'll throw this in here. I got the Valentino um, Acrylic System Clear Powder because I didn't know that this kit came with a clear. So I purchased this one. I've only used this clear. Love this, by the way. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've used the clear yet for this brand. But I noticed that the pink and the natural look very similar. Um, I can't really tell the difference. Next up in the kit, it came with two nail liquids, which is nail monomer, which activates the acrylic, if you didn't know. So these are six fluid ounces, so it comes with 12 fluid ounces of monomer. I think this is the one I've been using. Um, I've used it twice so far, and um, I don't know, there's not that much using if this is the one I've been using. Yet. Um, so I've used it twice so far. I did this nail set right here. I was practicing flowers. This is the core white right here. And then this is core XXX white with core white over it. Um, I originally started off with core XXX white. I was going to do the whole set in that color. But it is very hard to work with that I've noticed so far. I don't know if it's just because I'm a beginner and I need a little bit more practice with pigment, um, but I noticed that the Core XXX White was a lot harder to work with than the Core White, so I just began using the Core White on the rest of my nails. This one's painted white because I broke this nail, fixed it with the wrong color, and then attempted to paint it, so it's just not going to go with this pinky right now, but yeah. I don't know how we got there for monomer, but yes, it came with 12 ounces of monomer. Next up in the kit, it came with some nail files, four to be exact, I believe, just to make sure I'm not missing any. Yes, it came with four nail files, um, one 150, one 100, grit, that's what that means. Um, one 180, this is kind of like the buffer consistency to make your, um, to buff out like any, what is the word? To buff out any imperfections and then it came with a 240 and it also has a i think this is a 180 on the back or it's i think honestly this feels a little bit more um finer than the 180 so i'm not sure which one this is but it is finer than the 180s or so it feels 
Um, I haven't used any ones of these except this one. I'm gonna show you why in a second, but these feel great, so I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Just haven't got the chance to use them yet. Next, it came with this acrylic brush right here. Um, don't mind this, it was all black, but I stuck it in this bottle of acetone to clean it off. And the fume, like, there's not even that much acetone in there, but the fumes got up and started eating at the paint. I wasn't thinking clearly, so I'm really upset that the brush looks like this now, but it still works fine. So it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, this brush is pretty good. Um, it's kind of, I, I don't know if you can see, but it kind of is already, like, um, coming out of shape a little bit i don't know if that's just because i'm not using it correctly not cleaning it correctly i this brush works fine when i'm using it but i do not like that it's already coming out of its shape with the brushes or the bristles especially because i know those brushes are so expensive just on their own next it came with this um monomer glass um, it's really tiny and I don't know if it, it's, this is the size in comparison with my hand. I mean, you don't need that much monomer when you're doing acrylic, um, but it really depends on how much monomer you like to use. Like me being a beginner, I have to fill this up probably two, uh, two to three times, um, including the first time I fill it up well, while I'm doing nails. So I did order two more of these from Amazon. I don't, I think they're gonna be probably around the same size, but we'll see. But I do like this overall. I mean, it's little, but it does the job. Holds my monomer. Next, it came with this um, Young Nail Rose Oil. Uh, really pretty packaging. I mean, it's just glass and a squeezy thing. But um, it's made with sunflower oil, essential, essential rose oil, vitamin A, and vitamin E. I don't really know the difference um, between cuticle oils. They are all just oil to me. So um, I guess I like it. <laughs> I don't dislike it, so it doesn't really matter. Next, I came with this Young Nails Ultimate Finish Gel. I love this gel top coat. It is so beautiful. Um, it's a high gloss gel sealer. Um, so you do have to use UV light for this. It doesn't have the sticky finish on it. And um, so you, I guess it's called like a no wipe top coat or whatever. And then um, it's really shiny. Look how pretty and reflective it is. So yeah, I really like that top coat. Next, it came with this Young Nails Brush on Glue. Um, I really like this. This is what the little brush looks like. Just like that. It's a tiny brush. Um, I like it. it it's stuck on my nails so far so it came with these two tips it came with um clear tips and then natural tips they're both curved um you know like the natural curve or whatever so um yeah these aren't straight tips but they do work well they're actually the tips i have on my nails right now as you can see they're kind of curved next up it came with these young nail nail forms i actually used one of these um to fix this nail um so this nail does not have a tip underneath it can you even see i actually used one of the forms to fix this nail right here this is the one that broke ignore the fact that it's got white nail polish on it it's the one i messed up on remember when i told you that like a couple minutes ago this one's painted white because i broke this nail fixed it with the wrong color and then attempted to paint it so it's just not going to go with this yeah this is the one i messed up on it and this one doesn't have a tip on it i just used the form to fix it also just want to uh, give props to myself kind of i this nail had chipped right here you can kind of see where it chipped right there yeah but i built it off of nothing so i'm kind of proud about that next um it came with this young nails protein bond non-acid adhesion I don't know the difference between um, protein bonds. I like this so far, I guess. It works, it doesn't make my nails come off, so I'm guessing that's a good thing. And last but not least, we have the Young Nails Swipe. And this stuff really works. Like, I know it's supposed to get like the lint and stuff, it, or not the lint, it's supposed to get the dust and stuff off of your nails. It does that, it does exactly that, so I have nothing to complain about with this. And that is the last thing that, oh. Is this, I think I, honestly? I think this is the one I've been using. I missed a nail file I had. And that was the last thing that came in the Young Nails kit. Um, so I will be going over the other stuff that I purchased outside of that kit.
So I have this. A while ago I purchased this before I even started doing acrylic nails just because I started painting my nails and taking more care of them. Um, it's this Sun UV um, LED light. Um, it looks like this and then you can push one of the buttons and put your hand in it. Just glows up with the UV light and then it starts counting whenever you put your hand in there. Can you see? Yep. I don't know why anyone would ever spend hundreds of dollars on an LED light, LED UV light, because this one that I bought for, I think it was like 30 to $40, works perfectly fine. Like, I honestly don't know how you can go wrong with an LED light or a UV light, but I love that one. I'm not, I don't think I'll ever be spending hundreds of dollars on a better one because that one works just fine next thing i got is this melody Susie drill this thing is awesome like once again i don't know why people spend hundreds of dollars i mean i guess just because you can and i'm not knocking anyone who does i mean i don't know what i would do if i started making a bunch of money off of my nails but this i think this was 70 dollars yeah, because I bought one for $30, then um, the girl I watch on YouTube, uh, V Nailed It, she recommended this one for beginners. And so, well, she recommended it was a portable one. It didn't plug in, So, but I got this one because it was a little cheaper. This one was like $70 or $80. This works amazing. I love this thing. Um, it comes with six different nail tips. These are the tips that it comes with. And this is what the little thing looks like it's silver I, I don't, i'm not sure if it had different colors but i was kind of going with a simplistic theme for my nail station and it goes up to thirty thousand rotations per minute per se, minute second i don't know what it is i think it's per minute and um you just press the on button it's not gonna go um unless you have it on the lock mode so let me see if i can show you it has a lock and a unlock mode. So if it's in the unlock mode, I'm, I can press it on. It's not gonna go at all. Um, let me turn it up. You don't hear it going. And then as soon as you put it in the lock mode, whether you have something in there or not, it will start to go. But we're gonna put this one in, lock it, turn it on, turn it up. So it's not that loud. The higher you get, the louder it gets. But I'm not complaining. It still works very, very well. I don't think it's that loud to be completely honest. But when you have it real low, it's not loud at all. Yeah, so I like this. It works really, really well. It makes my nails look really pretty. It gets them filed really well. So yeah, nothing to complain about there once again. Next up, another thing that is essential, um, I bought this a while ago for my hair i kept water in it but once i started doing nails i poured the water and put alcohol in here it's very important to keep your um, station sanitized and sanitary um I, I bought this this is like a little nail cushion for my clients you know when they put their arms out i have to figure out a way to get it to stay still um it's really not that big of a deal but like it does move so i think i want to i can either put like a towel down or something but i've got to find something to keep it still um but you know just spray it and you might you don't want to spray it all the way because look if you hold it down it's going to keep spraying so like yeah if you push it, it's going to keep spraying outside of you keeping um, your finger on it. Next up, we have the Tammy Taylor the Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick Nail File. Um, so it comes with this plastic back and nothing on the plastic back. This is like you peel off the back and it has an adhesive side and you stick it onto the um the plastic stick it comes with refills depending on what you buy you can get a different amount of refills i got 10 refills um so yeah i really like this because it's a sturdy back it's not gonna bend on you you know how when you use just regular nail files like this i don't know if this one's gonna bend like i said i haven't used it like i use this one to test it out see if it will bend but um like you see how it's, this one's a little, I mean, this is kind of, I'm not even going to compare it to this, but stuff like this without the plastic back is more likely to bend than the one with the plastic back. So that's why I like these. I also got this um, from the from the girl I watch on YouTube, V Nailed It. I'm going to link her channel down below because she has helped me a lot. 
I still watch her videos. I watch them all the time. But she loves this and she recommended this on her channel. So I tested this out, love this, and highly recommend it as well. Next thing I bought is a pack of 10 of these glue, nail glue sticks. Um, that was before I purchased the Young Nails kit or new, no, that was before I knew that it came with glue. So I bought these. Um, I can probably just, you know, put the glue in the Young Nails thing once I run out of it, whatever I feel like doing. Next up, I got a kit of tools. So it came with um, cuticle nippers. I already had some cuticle nippers, but these are ones that the kit that I got came with. Um, and then I got this um, nail, you know, the nail thing. Nail clippers, nail tip clippers, there we go. And then it also came with a cuticle pusher. I think I bought, I don't know if it came with Q, two, with two cuticle pushers or if I ordered two cuticle pushers. I'm not exactly sure what I did. I think it came with two. I think that's what it was. So yeah, uh, the kit came with two cuticle pushers, the nail um, tip clippers and cuticle nippers, which are very sharp, by the way. Another thing that I think is a necessity is um, straight nail clippers. Now I've had these for a while, but they do come in handy. Now that I've started doing nails, I need to clean them. But um, this is what they look like, literally just a straight tip, like no curve to it whatsoever, it's just straight. It helps with when you're um, clipping to shape, it doesn't you know, give you any curve there. It's actually what I use to cut off the tips so I could shape these nails. Oh, also um, my drill came with, um, I think this is a, I don't remember how, I think maybe 30 um, extra sand sanding bits. So it, my drill also came with these. Next thing I purchased, um, I think I got this off the Valentino website, but it's this drill bit right here. Um, it's a cuticle one. V Nailed It also recommended this one um, highly. So what this does is it just gets your cuticles really good. It buffs off any dead skin that, um, your first couple of bits didn't get. I still end up going in with the nip just because I don't like any cuticles being there, but I'm comfortable going in with nippers. So if you're not comfortable with that, then obviously that is a great alternative. It doesn't get everything, but it gets a lot of it off the nail bed. It, what it does is it gets it off the nail bed, but it doesn't take them away off of your like skin, you know? So I like to get it off the skin. While if you're not comfortable, you just need to really get it off the nail bed. Another thing that I think is really good to have is um, these nail tips. These are straight extra long square nail tips. Um, this is the brand right here. I got them off of Amazon. I actually got two packs of these. I think they were like 11 to $12. I think they were $11, but they might've been closer to 12. You know how that changed, be. <coughs> Good grief. And this is what they look like. Let me make sure I remember where I take it out of. They're so hard to get out just because they're so long. They fit exactly in the little um, compartments that they're in. So this is what they look like, that, that really steep C curve that people like nowadays. I don't know how to show you. Can you see it? You can see it. And then um, they're this long, they're really long. I could, ooh, bend it. I can kind of show you in comparison to my nail. Um, so this is how long they are. You can see how long they are. So yeah, got two of those. Um, just cause, why not? Another thing that I purchased is these rhinestone adhesive um grabbers these wax rhinestone grabbers so it looks like this i think you can see um this is the little wax tip pretty pointy when it first starts out and then i'm guessing this is more of like a placement tip like to after you put it on there you can like move it around you know so yeah i really like these i think these are essential for especially if you plan on doing rhinestone art and stuff like that and I do have one last package coming today, but it is not here yet. So last but not least, we have this nail art brush that I purchased. It looks like this. Um, I was watching a YouTube video on how to do 3D flowers, which I did on this nail right here. If you can see, they turned out pretty good. Um, but yeah, so they recommended this brush. I'm not exactly sure which one this is, um, but I, where did I get it from? I'm not sure if I got it off Amazon or the Valentina website. 
I can't remember, but this brush works really well um, for 3D flowers. I've noticed, um, I haven't tried to use it for anything else or anything like that, but I like this brush. I also stuck this in the acetone, so it is kind of uh, peeling towards the bottom. Um, well, it's not gonna peel off, I don't think, cause it's not wet anymore, but when it was wet, I just left it alone cause I was like, I really don't want this to get messed but up. But yeah, guys, so that is the last thing that I have to show you guys today. I do have some colored acrylic powders coming in. I'm so excited cause you know, right now I just have the natural and the white ones. So I'm so excited for my colored acrylics to come in and get started on learning more about those. But thank you so much for watching my nail. Oh my gosh, one last thing, I almost forgot. A light you need a light an LED light you don't want a bulb light you want an LED light now this is not as bright as it could be so I use my ring light that I have shining on me right now but this has a little plug in it for that's convenient for clients I haven't had a client yet but that's convenient for clients when I do get one and I practice on my mom so she really enjoyed the plug and how convenient it was for her to, that it was right there in front of her um, but this light was $7 at Walmart if y'all wanted something to start out with. I'm probably going to get something a little better in the future, but I've already spent too much money on the product side, so I need to just cut down a little bit. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video, but I really appreciate you guys tuning in for this. I really hope it helped you somehow. Um, subscribe if you want. I would love for you guys to join me in my journey. Ask me questions. I'm not a stingy nail tech um or nail tech yet but i'm not a stingy nail tech i'm gonna help you guys out i think there's enough clients to go around for everybody so if you guys have any questions about you know how to do something if i know i'll try to help you out or make a video about it or make a video and we can learn together so thank you guys so much for tuning in once again i love you guys already and welcome to my nail nook